Hey guys, Justin Parker here. Now I have a quick video for you today and that is adding buy now buttons to your WordPress website. So if you are an online coach of any sort looking to sell virtual coaching packages on your website, then you're gonna find this super useful. Now the example that I'm working with today is actually for a personal trainer, but it doesn't matter what niche you are in, as long as you are selling virtual coaching packages, you're gonna find this really beneficial. So before we jump on the computer to run through this step by step, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification as well if you want to be notified of future releases there are loads of videos on my channel that are designed to help you up your website design game as well as your business so without further ado let's jump straight on so here i have a website that i'm working on at the moment and you can see that we have three different packages that are on offer now these order buttons are empty at the moment, but what we want to do is be able to hook those up to e-commerce functionality. So when the customer clicks them, it will then add them to cart and then the customer can go through a purchase process in order to place an order. Now we're using WordPress. So actually adding e-commerce functionality to this is really, really simple. And I'm going to run you through it now. So the first thing we need to do is head back to your WordPress dashboard and then we're going to head down to plugins and then add new. And then from here, just head over to the right search bar and we're just going to search for WooCommerce. And it's this one here with 5 million plus installs, so it's an incredibly popular plugin. And we're just going to hit install now. Then hit activate once it's ready. Okay, cool. So the plugin has now installed and it's going to start running us through the online store setup. So let's just jump straight into that. Get your store up and running more quickly with our new and improved setup experience, yeah. Okay, so you need to put your store information here. Now, because I'm working on a client site, I'm just gonna jump past this step. Cool, so now you need to choose what industry the store fits within. For this example, we probably fit within health and beauty, so let's select that one. Hit continue. So now we need to choose what type of product will be listed. Now this is totally up to you and the store that you're running. For this example, I'm just gonna select these two. But as a personal trainer or online coach, you might actually wanna run subscriptions as well. And this is available for an additional cost of $199. And there is a plugin from WooCommerce that makes this really quite easy for you. So how many products do we plan to display? In this, we are one to 10. Nope. So you now get to choose whether you want to market on Facebook, or Mailchimp, and Google Ads. By default, they're all turned on. I'm just going to turn them all off for now. And we already have a theme installed, so we're just going to continue using the active theme. If this is a brand new store for you, depending on your setup, you might want to choose a theme. But because this is a custom built theme that we're working with, we're just going to continue using that. So here we get to choose to enhance the store with Jetpack. Now Jetpack is a pretty cool plugin for tracking analytics and that side of things. So you might want to install that. But for now, for this demo purpose, I'm just going to select no thank you. All right, cool. So that's WooCommerce installed. And here we have our WooCommerce dashboard where it will display us all of our analytics. So how many orders have we received and things like that. So you might want to get pretty familiar with this section. Now the next thing we need to do is add our products. Now this is really easy. We can just go over to our navigation on the left and then we want to go down to products and then add new. Cool, so our first product that we're adding today is six weeks coaching. Now it's up to you if you want to add a description. I'm just going to leave them blank because I'm only needing to add the buttons here. I'm not going to have single product pages. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave the description blank. So scrolling down, we need to add our price. So the important thing here is making sure that our product data is correct. Now we want to make sure that we have simple products selected, but we also want to have virtual products selected which means that we are not shipping a physical product anywhere. And you'll notice that the shipping option disappears from the navigation underneath. So because we are offering training packages, you can't actually ship training packages. So it is essentially what is classed as a virtual product. 
So that's essentially everything that we need to do here for creating a product. We're just going to hit publish. And now we need to add the others. So we're just going to add another one. Eight weeks. Uh, sorry, it was coaching, wasn't it? Eight weeks coaching, description blank. And this one is 159 euros. Again, make sure virtual product is selected. Almost forgot that time. And then we're going to hit publish. Cool, and then let's add our final package. 12 weeks coaching. Virtual product selected. And this one is 199. Publish. Okay, cool. So that's all of our products added. And you can see all of our products just by heading over to products and click all products. And there we go. We've got our six weeks, eight weeks and 12 weeks. All of the pricing is there and they are currently in stock because they're virtual products. Cool. So now we need to actually add the products to our website. So we're going to go back to the page that we started on where all of our coaching packages are, are lined up. And now we have three buttons here and for each one of these buttons we want it to link up and order the product. So we're going to head up here to edit with Elementor and we're going to start making edits to our page. Alright cool, so once, the, once your page is loaded you're just going to scroll down and here we have our three training packages for the products that we have just created. And you'll see that each one of these have a button at the moment. And these buttons don't currently work. So what we need to do now is add buttons that will allow us to add each one of these products to our cart. So the first thing we need to do is head over to our widget section and we're going to just search button. And now that we have the WooCommerce plugin installed, we're going to have a load more widgets here that are available to us that relate to the e-commerce store. So the one that we're looking for is custom add to cart. I'm just going to click and drag that into one of our columns and you'll see that a button appears and you can't currently read the text but that's fine so we want to tell it what product we want it to link to so if we just search for six week there we go so this one's going to link to six weeks coaching if we click button we can make some style edits here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this one and I'm just going to paste the style here, like so. Cool. And we can change the title to this. And we can change the title to this to Order Now. Like so, you can either keep the icon or if you want to delete it, you can just hit the bin. If you want to add another one, just click it and it's going to add a little library. So if we just search for cart there we go you can insert that back in like so brilliant so you'll see that those two have the same style now what we want to do is just delete the one above because that button is no longer needed brilliant and now we can copy this one and we can paste that over here great now we need to make sure that this ties up to the eight week package so while this button is selected head back up to our product and we're going to choose eight week there we go. Same again, delete this one. Place that one over there. Delete the top one. And make sure that this one is linking up to our 12 week package. There you go. So that's how easy it is to add these buttons. Now if I update this, and let's preview our changes. We can now see our buttons and we are going to click and order now. Awesome. So once it's added to cart, we can view our cart using the link next to it. And here we go. Here's everything that's currently in our cart. Now, visually, it doesn't look great because we're currently sitting on a black background. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail of how to go about styling this. It's more about how to add the functionality to your website and showing you how easy it is to do so. So you can see that we've got a few items here in our basket. 
So I'm just going to delete those ones. Great. Now once we're happy with our basket, we can just click proceed to checkout. And you can see that it has all of the purchase process implemented and it is so incredibly easy for your customers to now start buying your products. Now you'll see that this notification says that there are no payment methods currently available. And that's fine. We just need to go into settings and add some payment methods. So payment methods wise, we can use something like PayPal or Stripe or there are a few other options. So let me show you that now. Head back to dashboard. So under WooCommerce, we want to hover over there and go to settings. Cool. So this is your online store WooCommerce settings area. Now, I definitely recommend you go in and have a look and familiarize yourself with the amount of settings that are available. But what you want to do is look at the tabs at the top and go over to payments. Cool. And you'll see that we have a couple of options here and we have PayPal that is also an option. So if you want to turn that on, we just need to go over to setup. You need to go in and create a PayPal account and PayPal will then give you the information that you need in order to hook it up to your store. And this is where you'll go to put the information into your online store to make that connection. Now, if you want to use something like Stripe, it also allows for that functionality, but we need to add an extra plugin for that. So if we head back over to our menu and go down to plugins and click add new. And we're going to head back over to the search box and this time I want you to search WooCommerce Stripe. And this is the one that we're looking for. It's WooCommerce Stripe Payment Gateway. So let's install that one now. Once it's done, hit activate. Cool, now that's installed, we're gonna head back over to our WooCommerce settings. Head back over to payments. And you'll now see that there are a bunch of Stripe options. So the most common one that you'll probably need to use is the Stripe credit card option. And similar to PayPal, we just need to go to Setup. And again, similar to PayPal, you will need to create a Stripe account and Stripe will then give you all of the API keys and the information that you need in order to hook that up to your online store. And once that's done, that's essentially everything that you need in order to start selling online training and coaching packages from your website. And once that's done guys, that's essentially all you need in order to start selling your online coaching packages from your own website. <laughs>